Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy with another remastered version of Jadong vs. Flash as they're spawning here on Match Point, a very interesting map here. Let me just start by introducing the players to you guys as we have spawning in the low left in the orange. It is Jadong and his opponent in the upper right in the teal, I believe it is, yes. It is Flash. So the best Terran versus the best Zerg from the years 2010 until 2018, eight, even beyond. So let's just see exactly what they have prepared for us. In this matchup of course we have Terran versus Zerg so many Terrans like previously said we like to go into mass bio versus the Zergs but mass mass tanks and mass vultures even Goliaths could also be an option here for the Terran for Flash let's see exactly what he's opting for now we turn on into Jadong let's see what exactly he will prepare for us he might try a Zerg rush it could also be a Hydra rush for him but most Zergs really like to transition into a tier 2 and go for that mutilist harassment against their Terrans. So let's just see what exactly the builder is going to be currently. Jadong, I believe he's saving up for a fast expansion here. Flash is going to of course open up pretty standard with his supply depot. Very next to his mineral line just to block the entrance. Just to give that protection towards those CVs. And now we actually see a spawning pool first here for Jadong. So spawning pool first it is going to be no fast expansion as his second overlord is also out on the map so i believe an extractor would follow up really really soon here for jadong as his first overlord is already pretty much out on the map and very soon he's going to make it here towards the location from flash flash continuing with his gas and there should be his barracks so a pretty standard open up here for him we see the first scouting drone going out around the two minute mark no hold on this is actually the fast expansion drone yeah, no scouting drone yet here for Jadong, as the first SCV is also moving out to scout, or it could also be an expansion attempt here by Flash, but no, by the looks of it, the SCV heading straight out on the map, sees the Overlord now, and there is the, the Overlord here, so still no scouting drone here for uh, Jadong, as yeah, the timing looks really, really well for his Overlord to arrive very soon at the location from Flash. In comes the scouting SCV. Let's check the main from uh, Jadong. He has gas up, three drones onto that gas. And let's see what exactly Flash is continuing with a factory. So after his barracks has been finished, he's continuing pretty much with his factory here. SCV has also nicely made it here forward towards the main location from Jadong. And of course, this uh, SCV is really important just to stay here alive and he sees the tier 2 upgrade luckily here for him before he might get, get sniped really soon as his HP is really really low so yeah tier 2 at around the 3 minute mark for Jadong his Zerglings are also picking it out here on the map there's a nice choke point here could be blocked by the Terran because Marines are also out the first factory might produce the first Vultures very very soon for Flash there are vultures really really strong if they're kited back and forth nicely and yeah let's see what other units are going to be produced here what exactly is going to happen flash really has to take care of those zerglings really really soon as one scv is falling really low but one zerling has been killed and the second scv is also nicely being saved here by flash so nice nice job by him and with this one vulture of course this harassment is going to end right now and yeah, there is another expansion point. One SCV has been killed. A pretty good trading here by both players. Let's check this location. There is a nice creep colony here for Jadong. There is his tier 2 already being upgraded. And I believe he's going straight into Mutalisk. So Mutalisk rush here for Jadong versus Flash. Let's see. It's going to work out well for him. He's also checking the other proximities. And in comes the first Vulture. But this one sunk and should finish in time. Yeah, the vultures has to be really nicely microed here out of danger as Jadong with that perfect timing here to fend off the attack of the vultures so Ash has to retreat he might add some mines here into this location let's see what exactly is going to happen is Flash actually deciding to move here forward with speed but speed has not been done yet here for this one vulture was just staying into this position Flash is securing of course his expansion with some marines and what is he adding here another factory so you can see the production tab of course in the upper left button we actually see some goliaths now 
of Flash is indeed expecting some mutilist harassment. This is exactly why he goes for some glides. Glides early on can be really, really strong, even on the ground. And a macro hatch here being added by Jadong. So let's see, the spire is about to finish. Let's see how many mutilists are going to be produced currently. Just four of them, so still really, really a strong number. At around 10 mutilists can be really, really deadly. But yeah, the Goliaths will of course be the perfect counter for Flash against those units. And he even adds some turrets here. The first Goliath is out. More and more are being produced. Turrets are also inbound as the Vulture is slowly but steadily retreating. Let's see what those Mutilisk will be able to do here for Jadong. Six should be in the air very, very soon. Two turrets have finished here for Flash. More and more turrets will be added. Where exactly is Jadong heading with his mutilisk. Let's have a look where exactly he decides to attack. Of course, the turrets are up. Two of them, so they should be fine. Another turret is being built, and we do see many, many Goliaths here for Flash. It's such a surprise here for Jadong seeing those Goliaths. So, seeing that Flash actually goes for a mass mechanical build order, it's just mass factories currently not pumping out any much bio. And yeah, more and more mutilisk. For joining here the fight with really a strong number of mutilists here by Jadong currently at seven or even eight and more and more will come but yeah both those collides in the air look at that with that double rocket attack dealing so much damage against those uh, mutilists and even a valkyrie could have been an interesting idea here for flash we've seen some terrans go for valkyries versus the mutilisk with that splash damage such a strong unit so Jadong has to of course retreat and there is his six o'clock expansion for him let's check his main hydros then so we might see a transition into hydros we might see a transition into those lurkers the lurkers of golf of course we really, really strong unit against the bio or even against those goliaths so jadon still roaming around he has nice control of the map trying to kill of course some reinforcements try to kill some scv now and then but there are goliaths on the ground there are turrets so Ash. Really, really taking care of his defenses here nicely playing very very defensively having even an engineering bay in the back and here in comes Jadong but he already takes quite some volleys out of those Goliaths yeah he needs to be very very careful so yeah the Goliath the perfect counter of course towards those mutilisk in the air Jadong not really making anything happen with those mutilisk this is exactly why I believe he's going to transition into mass hydras even with zerglings perhaps a tier 3 Later on with some ultra risk it could be a possibility as now he's taking his expansion point but we do see two vultures here moving out for flash so lucky move out here going to intercept some of those drones nicely done by him okay three drones have been snapped but yeah Jadong is going to of course defend this location really really nicely with his mutilisk in the air and finally even snapping those two vultures so good defense here by Jadong slowly but steadily we're closing at a 10 minute mark Nice, nice job here by Jadong defending and still Flash decides to stay defensive, decides to just send out a scout or two on the map, perhaps just to get lucky and snap some drones, but Jadong knows this of course as he has added now those Hydros and the Hydros are really good strong counter against the mute, against the vultures on the ground, so nice, nice job by him. More and more Hydros are actually being added here with upgrades as Flash is going for more and more Goliaths. See Jadon actually feeling quite confident now to move out with his Mutilisk, with his Hydros. He has no Lurkers yet, but he might try to upgrade those units. But hold on, nice, nice mines here for the Flash as he's able to kill four uh, Hydrolisk as one. So nice, nice job here by him. A bit of Jadon is going to wait for some Overload. Maybe that Overload speed needs to be done here as well. Flash is really, really nicely defending here with those mines, with those Vultures. Already taking out five Hydras. More, more hydros actually being added here by uh, Jadong. Jadong, of course, fears any more mines on the ground, so he has to wait for this one uh, overload. And I believe he's also going to, yes, indeed, a faster overload movement speed. It's called Evolve Pneumatized Carapace. Interesting upgrade here for Jadong with that speed for those overloads. And Flash sees the other expansion point. Jadong is there to react as the Goliaths do now actually move forward on the map. And yeah, another mine is about to get a good connection. No Jadong nicely microing those 
Hydros out of way harm, so nice, nice job here by him. But yeah, this looks like it's going to be the tactic from Flash. He's actually going into Mass Mech versus a Zerg. Very, very rare side, but let's see if this is somehow going to work out here for Flash. Mass tanks into Goliaths, into Vultures. Is he going to stay into this unit composition? Perhaps he's going to add a Starport or two. Currently, he's just busy defending his home as at one point he will have to move out because Jadong is really aggressively expanding all over the map so let's see Flash of course adding those mines just to have more and more defenses to immediately score in the air trying to intercept those vultures and Flash once again might try to snipe a Hydra or two but the one vultures getting, getting killed here as well so both players are trading really really nicely and Jadong of course nicely blocking the entrance here with some Hydras Good, good job here by him. Still no lurkers. Speed has been done for those overlords. And yeah, Flash has also now decided to take this expansion point. So very balanced game at the same time. He's scouting, of course, the proximity. He's laying his mines all over the map. Just to not allow Jadong to move out here. And yeah, Jadong probably was telling clears those mines, of course. Sees now where exactly they're being laid with those overlords. So nice, nice job here by him. Slowly was telling. Might try to regroup. He might try to attack. Let's see what his options are, but of course also add that speed for those overlords. And so another speed uh, transportation. And yeah, pick up those hydros, perhaps drop them here, but yeah, Flash thinking of course about that as well. Look at that defense here, lots and lots of turrets here for... As he should be able to hold of course any drop attempt. But yeah, Jadon could send out the first overlords empty and then just drop. There's even mines here being laid by Flash, so Flash with a very, very nice defense. Jadong secures now his left part expansion. Nice, nice job by him. Flash still moving out with some vultures in. Still trying to get, of course, some connections, trying to uh, deal damage towards the economy from Jadong. Still no major move out here by Flash. He's playing very, very defensively. We've passed along the 10 minute mark. He has some tanks now on the ground. Let's check those upgrades one to one. Really important to have those upgrades for those units. And yeah, Flash still roaming around the map with his vultures. Is this going to be the successful strategy for him? We're about to find out. As slowly but steadily, Jadong has cleared those mines and he's now feeling really, really confident to move out with his units. He's regrouping straight into the middle of the map, straight into this first location point, extension point for Flash. And let's see how he does. He's going to clear more and more mines. The Mulis are also here. Flash is waiting for him with Goliaths, with those tanks. He even has two science vessels. Could irradiate some of those units as he's just roaming around. And yeah, Flash even preparing another expansion point. Jadong knows this, of course. And he has, he wants to cancel that as fast as possible. Just needs to find a good position for his Hydros, but it's really, really hard to engage as there's so many tanks in the back. So it's just staying here is just bring more and more reinforcements more and more mutilisk but he might also try to add some zerglings as cannon fodder so let's see what his decision is he's just staying here flash of course also holds his ground with his tanks and sends out now his vultures finally into that other expansion point see actually jadon moving out with hydros here he's expecting an attack by flash flash is moving here forward but the mutilisk are there to engage so lots and lots of action going on or flash tries of course to cripple the economy but it's not possible against so so many hydras and those mutilisk in the air are far far stronger and faster than the vultures so a nice nice job here by Jadong defending once again still preparing an attack and actually flash is now the one ready to move out with his goliaths with his tanks in the back slowly but steadily sieging up in the back and we do have a major engagement now we do have defensive matrix on this one goliath nice nice michael here by Flash, of course, the Hydros will stand no chance against the tanks in the back, and they're nicely being defended by those vultures, by those glides. So Jadon is the one now who has to retreat. Flash not allowing him to stay into this location to take control of this zone. So he's just going to slowly but steadily unsiege and siege up at the same time. So of course, has to secure his expansion. Let's see what the options from Jadon are going to be. A drop, like I told you, could be a possibility. Some Guardians could also be a possibility here for him. Let's see if he has tier 3. Yes, indeed. Doesn't have a greater spire. And by the looks of it, he's moving out on the map with his Mutilisk. Many, many turrets are waiting here for him. Perhaps here in the upper part, if he would fly over this location, 
might get in the back from Flash. And let's see Flash just roaming around, just securing his other expansion point. Uh, Jadong still regrouping in the middle of the map, still adding more and more units. And just regrouping here straight into this location. Flash is moving out with his forces. He's adding turrets while he's moving out. He's adding more and more Goliaths and tanks. You can see it, of course, in the production time. And those upgrades are also moving out. And now we finally see some defilers. The defilers also a must against those tanks on the ground. They might once again meet here in the middle of the map. The Hybers are in the front, the Vultures as well. There's so many tanks in the back. The tanks are getting targeted now by those movies. But there's a lots and lots of anti air here, so let's see how this is going to unfold. But let's keep moving forward. The Hutus aren't really being touched here by Flash as they are able to kill so so many tanks. And their income is jaded with more and more Hydras. The turrets are of course dealing massive amounts of damage, but the Flash lost so so many tanks here and the Hydras are still pretty much alive. There's still a tank in the back, but the reinforcements are nicely moving forward here for Flash. He's going to finally take out the forces from Jadong. So with the reinforcements from below, but hold on, we actually see more and more reinforcements not coming in for Jadong. The little miscourages have fallen. And yes, so, so many units have been killed here for Jadong. Flash also losing some units. You can see it, of course, here in the tab. But a nice economy here for Flash. He has 16 mortals. He has a strong economy almost 3k gold as those factories will pump out more and more units let's see what he's going tanks and vultures this is actually feeling even more and more confident to move out with his tanks going to nicely and up siege here but he just needs vision yeah there is that vision as some drones will fall and more and more units will fall here as well he's trying to move forward but his choke point will be really deadly for jadon there's so much splash damage will be taken but hold on we actually see some attacks from above here by Jadon with so so many hydras and he's attacking those tanks one tank I think is going to fall but yeah, the other tanks are also dealing good damage against those hydras but in the end I believe in DDS Jadon is going to be able to clear this and fend off this first attack he did lose some workers he did lose a sunken and some hydras as well but in the end he holds not only that but he has taken this expansion point here so nice nice job here by him as yeah now he's finally regrouping is he going to be able to attack here but there's so many mines being laid here by Flash and well, let's see the Vultures are also in the front mines do get some good connection there's a nice tank here in the back point here for Jadon as his units will take quite some great splash damage out of those units trying of course to move forward but the mines are there the tanks are in the back so it's a really really hard sim city being built here by Flash just to hold this location nicely with this one ramp so yeah the tanks are perfectly working here for Flash as slowly but steadily we're joining, we're getting to the 20 minute mark, nice nice job here by both players, it's Hydros actually, my Hydros, now we finally see some Zerglings, the upgraded Zerglings with that adrenaline are really really strong late in the game, so the Defiler with that Dark Swarm will also be a must against those tanks by Flash, let's see how this is going to work out, Jadong like I told you, uh, expanding here very very aggressively around the map, taking so so many bases, and there's actually no base being left here on the map, everything is being mined out. Nice nice job here by both players, pretty much the same work account for them. And Flash is slowly but steadily moving out with his tanks. Check the upgrades, it should be 2 to 2, yes indeed. And he's even going for that 3 to 3, the upgrades are also going really up for Jadong. Check one hydro, it's 1 to 3 actually. Massive amounts of upgrades indeed for both of them as a yeah, small stalemate here. Jadon might try to move out with his hydros, but the tanks and the mines are already waiting for him. So he might try to need a, another attack, another option for him. He might try to do a drop here, it could be a possibility. And then just walk here towards those buildings. And it would be really hard for Flash to come back as there's such a long, long way for him to go. Let's see what exactly Jadon is attempting. Currently he's just saying it's not even some or even five drones are here actually seven drones more and more drones are being gathered here so perhaps a misclick here by Jadong. yes some lines have been laid here into this location so we have a small stalemate which is still slowly but steadily unsieging and upsieging securing the position in the middle of the map for those two expansions the expansions are of course much much more important for him and yet Jadong is the one moving out securing the uh, transition here by those drones into the other 
expansion points. So nice, nice job here by him. Not that many minerals being left here for him. But yeah, let's have a look what exactly is going to happen here as those hydras are moving out on the map. So nice, nice job here by uh, Jadon. Let's see Flash still staying into this location, bringing some mechanics here perhaps for to repair those units or perhaps to add some more and more turrets. We see now Jadon clearing those mines, but the tanks are already waiting for him. Is there a defiler with Dark Sun? Jadon needs to be careful with those hydras. A little bit exposed, but at the same time we see Flash moving out with his strong force. The supply is the same for both of them. I believe Flash is just slowly but steadily creating a highway for his units towards the Jadong expansion. Let's see. Jadong moves out with his uh, Hydras. The mines have to be cleared. Flash is in the back with his tanks. The tanks will very soon get some connections against those units. So Jadong with massive amounts of Hydras. But Flash has the high ground. So Jadong needs to, of course, to retreat. And slowly but steadily, Flash is showing us the strength of this mech unit. Composure. But remember, Jadong has many, many more bases here than Flash, so his economy should be much, much stronger than Flash's. He's at 67. Now, finally, he has added those lurkers with Dark Swarm. So Flash is going to be in serious, serious trouble. He needs detection against those lurkers. In come the science vessels for him. And you know, if he finally sees those lurkers, he might try to add some radiance, but he's irradiating the Defiler, of course. Very dangerous unit to have for the Zerg, the Defilers with that Dark Swarm making life really really hard for any terrans so a nice nice defense here by jadon with a dark swan the tanks are shooting of course but those units are very much tanky into this one dark swan still we see a nice drop attempt here by jadon which is sort of a surprise with the defiles with the zergings in the back flash needs to up siege again a nice nice job here by him taking us by surprise as he brings in the zergings on the ground now the lurkers are moving more and more forward Nice, nice job here by uh, Jadon with Dark Swarm and the massive amounts of splash damage out of those lurkers. As they should be able to damage so, so many tanks here by Flash. In the end, it has been cleared. And yeah, Jadon holds his ground. At the same time, we see many, many vultures move out on the map, playing their mines and moving out forward here. But there's three sunkens and a nice boro being done here by Jadon, but still a great weight reaction by Flash as he's going to reveal those drones with a scan. Nice, nice scan here by him. And at the same time, Dark Swarm has expired, so Flash is slowly but steadily moving more and more forward. We have a nice multitask once again. All those units all over the map. My mines are here on the ground. Vultures are here. In comes the Defiler once again. Flash is up sieging. Going to take quite some damage. But yeah, the units are nicely hidden into that Dark Swarm. So good, good job here by Jadon with his um, with his Hydras. And especially that one Defiler. Testing those dark swarms, so nice, nice job here by him indeed. And yeah, more and more lurkers are being added, of course, here by Fla by Jadon as the lurkers with that splash damage would be a good counter towards those tanks if they're clumped up together. They have Flash having so, so many tanks in the back. And vultures have been added. Another science vessel has been added here as well. Let's see what exactly is going to irradiate. And we also have some gas onto this one drone. Let's see, Flash is actually going to commit here. The lurkers are nicely spawned. Jadon needs to react with nice ingredients. The Dark Swarm is in the back. The tanks are slowly moving forward. We see some scourges now here by Jadon. The science vessel will be immediately targeted. So nice, nice job. He's casting the defensive magic. So too, he's casting everything he can before he dies. And yeah, now the Hydros are pretty much in control. But there's so, so many tanks in the back. The Hydros will fall even though they are in the Dark, dark Swarm. So maybe Jadon has to transition into some massive amounts of Zerglings. Would be a good possibility as those tanks will deal splash damage towards themselves but yeah flash is moving forward with so so many tanks four tanks in, into this location attacking this one expansion point he needs more and more vision he feels really confident he's scanning this area and so so many drones will fall here for jadong so flash with the first aggression here against the economy from jadong jadong quite under siege but he has so so many expansions on the map and yeah, this one is very likely going to fall really, really soon. And this one command center even giving vision here towards those tanks, those upgraded tanks. Yes, three to three upgrades, dealing quite great amounts of splash damage. Jadon comes in once again with those overloads, with Dark Swarm, with Zerglings, with Hydros, with Lurkers. Everything he has just to defend this location point. Dealing quite great amounts of splash damage. Those Lurkers are strong. But yeah, Flash still holds his ground. He should be able to 
stand this ground here as those overlords will fall now so nice nice job here by flash not moving an inch here so of course he has to stay in siege mode a yeah, nice nice job here by him the workers are still tanky but they're taking by some damage Still, the dark swarm nicely working here in favor for uh jaylong so yeah he just needs some vision now he just perhaps needs some science vessels but we still see some move out here by flash flash and attacking the other expansion point with tanks and other units but jaylong responding with massive amounts of zerglings uh, surrounding those units but there's so many mines here plague has been casted as well and yeah flash still has those tanks in the high ground he still has vision there's also vision here so nice nice job here by him multitasking all over the map so the second expansion is under attack and we do see mutilis now but the goliaths will of course stand their ground against those mutilis in comes another attack from the back by jadong so jadong really wants to defend this one location here yeah, those hydros are very vulnerable against those tanks, but in the end, with some zerglings, he's able to hold. Now, Flash is also clumping up together here, securing his expansion point. There is a sunken in the back, but yet we stand, of course, no chance against those tanks. So, yeah, Flash is going to take this expansion really soon. His vultures are also here underground, laying more and more mines. Such a strong game by both of them. They're slowly but steadily, we're closing at a 30 minute mark here still anyone's game but Jadon really suffering his economy is suffering a lot with those vultures moving forward can't go out 32 workers only here for Jadon being left as he's trying of course to secure his expansions but so many mines here on the ground and even some units working here for him but we do have some new expansion here for flash as he should be able to lay down his uh, Mention point as fast as possible. We do see Jadon trying to move Leo out, trying to uh, secure this expansion. His servants are also here. A nice, nice job in the end. He's going to be able to hold. But the yeah, FS just keeps sending more and more out and laying more and more mines here against Jadong. And let's see, yes, indeed, more and more vultures are here on the map, giving Flash more mobility and more vision. Now, yeah, let's see, he's also massively guarding now this new expansion point. Overall is going to try to come in here through, but no chance against this one. Uh, light, and we see, of course, a transition by Flash with all of those SCVs into the new, into the fresh location, location point, and where we see also massive amounts of units now. So, so many tanks, so, so many vultures to protect those tanks, and such a bad choke point here for Jadong against those mines. Yeah, Flash is really, really throwing everything he has against Jadong now, and Jadong taking massive amounts of splash damage there's no more mining going out here so really soon this is going to be depleted and yes indeed Jadon understands now finally that could not hold this any much longer Flash nicely multitasking taking first this expansion then this expansion an interesting enough flash showing us that indeed it is possible to be to beat a zerg with mech with tanks with vultures with goliaths a nice nice game here by him no mass buy or no mass uh, marines with medics and fire bash just straight into those tanks straight into those goliaths very very nice game let's just check the uh, stats really quick just in case you guys are interested once again i'm going to be clicking left and right just like in the previous game just to see the score nice apm by both of them you can see of course the production the units killed and produced and so on buildings produced and lost just in case of course you guys are interested very very strong game and a very interesting strategy here by flash showing us how strong the tanks are in if they're of course being microed correctly and if of course they're being protected correctly by those vultures and those a very very nice game once again i hope you guys enjoyed we'll be seeing you of course in the next replays this is tommy signing out